Now in this part of the video, we're going to show you how to create icons and change the colors and add text just to make it more your own kind of thing. Here is what we need to add. So first of all, let's get in the multi text, multi action. And I'm just going to add my paint.net icon that I have. So here's my one. And I don't need a title for it. That's okay. But maybe I will put paint. So let's remind ourselves of our actions they are opening the system. So we open the system. Click on those buttons, go down here, paint.net. Now we have to add a three second delay. So put a three, make sure it's three seconds. We need a control N hotkey. Make sure you click down here where it says control N. And now we want to put in the text 256. 256. Let's copy that. And simply control V. So we've got two of those with a uh, 256 and then um, there's a tab after that maybe a, a second delay uh, we'll add something different to it and a tab so that's a hotkey and that will be a tab so a hotkey for the tab So here, tab, copy, and we want six, so I want five more. One, two, three, four, five. Let's move that up a bit. And simply a return after that. So another hotkey, which is a return. Okay, so Let's go back and let's see if that works. Let's see if I press this button now, this uh, paint.net button, let's see what happens. Two, five, six, two, five, six. Tap, tap, enter. Excellent, worked perfectly. So now what I want to do is Obviously you can get lots of icons in different ways, but I was looking for one to put where this writing is. So I found something here and what I want to do is uh, just, just copy it. And remember I told you about that shortcut, the uh, Windows Shift S. So let's have a look on here. So I just want to do a, a hotkey and down here it's Windows Shift S. So I do have an icon for that as well. So I'll put that there. And there's my icon for that one. And that helps me to remember it copies things. So let's use that now in order to copy and paste here. I'm going to press this button uh, Windows Shift S. So instead of doing the keys, I'm just pressing one button. And you can see everything's gone dark and I can simply copy this image. And now let's go back here. And remember, I, I used to have one Control V and you can add those here as well. So you could just press a button and it's Control V. But here we'll do Edit Paste. Make sure you say keep canvas size. Now, even though it's bigger, you can see the edges. Just get your hand in the corner and hold shift. Drag it down. By holding shift, you make sure that it stays symmetrical. So look, it always stays that. If you don't hold control the shift, then you can do this to it, which may be what you desire to do. So I'm going to uh, 
uh, hold, make it do that. In fact, it doesn't matter, it's a drawing, so I'll just do that. Now, once I click on this square, it's become part of the image now. Now let's say you want to change the green to blue. All you have to do is click the magic wand, click in the green area, and simply um, click on this bucket tool. And wherever you go here, you can decide what color. You can see the color here. So I say I want it red. So now I click here and it's red. While it's still clicked, you can move it around. See if you like different color. Oh, purple looks nice. Oh yeah, that looks good. What about green? No, blue. Let's go with the, the purple. That looks quite nice. Once again, just simply click here and it's gone. Also, you can change the color of the pencil, anything you want. Finally, before you add text, what I would do is make a new layer. Click on the bottom here, add a new layer. And in this layer, I would add the text. So if you say, my name is dot, 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 question mark. Uh, you can change the font size and you can also move it. Because it's not attached to that layer, you can now move it here like that, see? And maybe you want it to be 20. That's better. Hold that, move it. And you can change its color as well. I believe if we move this button, see it can be dark blue. And then that's it. So all you have to do now is, uh, I do believe you can flatten them. So go to image, go to flatten. And now you can save it as your PNG or JPEG. So save as, and let's call it writing. There it is. Click OK again. And now if we go to our icon window, you can see it there. And here's our writing. Let's click on that and just simply drag it across. And there it is. Let's remove that word writing actually, just in the way. There you go. So let's have a look at that now. That looks quite nice. So there you have it, how to make your own icons. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, let me know if you've found any other ways to use this that could be quite helpful to the rest of the community.